I bet you forgot about the Miami Cannibal. May 26, 2012. It might have started as a regular day, but nothing was going to prepare Ronald Papo for what was going to happen. Ronald Papo was a 65-year-old homeless man living in Miami. Rudy Eugene, age 31. He was on his way to Urban Beach Week when his Chevy Caprice broke down on the side of the road. After spending about 30 to 40 minutes with his abandoned car, he began to cross the three-mile span of MacArthur Causeway. Though while doing so, he started stripping his clothes off, also dropping his driver's license. While he was walking, his car was discovered by the Miami police and was towed. Inside the car, the police found a holy Bible and five empty water bottles. They say Rudy drank all five before he left his car. As he was walking, Rudy encountered Ronald Papo. Ronald was just laying under an overpass, and out of nowhere, Rudy violently attacked him. Rudy began to violently beat Richard. He stripped him of his pants and underwear, and also biting chunks out of his face. A passing cyclist saw this and immediately called 911. When police arrived, they demanded Rudy to get off of Richard. In response, Rudy growled and went towards the police. They opened fire one time on him. They had to open fire four more times before Rudy would stop. They said it didn't even phase him. They immediately ran to Richard's aid. The wounds he suffered from were unbelievable. His eyebrows, nose, cheeks, eyeballs, they were all chewed off his face. One of his eyes was completely plucked out. Richard, in fact, survived the attack. He is just now permanently blind and permanently disfigured. Now, what was the cause for this? They originally reported that Rudy was high on bath salts. But when you look in the toxicology report, the only thing found in his system was marijuana. So why do you think Rudy ate someone's face off? 